Well, hello. Um, I have a short story to share today, but it's pretty important because it'll help uh, our emergent readers, our, our early readers. It is a rhyming story. So um, rhyming is very important uh, that our children understand because it introduces them to word families like man, pan, can, fam. Uh, that would be considered a word family. Um, it also helps them understand the language and start making patterns of, of, of groups of letters together. And in addition, it helps them start predicting what uh, some of the words might be as they're reading. Prediction is very important to kind of be looking ahead and being able to see what's coming next. So a short book, an enjoyable book. Um, this book, uh, is is fun and like i said it's short after your pages uh you might want to ask your children which were the rhyming words they love to identify rhyming words um and if they're younger and they don't know what rhyming is then that's what you can tell them you can you can introduce them to that and say do you notice any words that sound the same and and you can give them examples at the beginning and then see if they pick up on that so even if they're not ready to start reading, uh, they can hear the different sounds and that's key uh, to becoming a good reader. Here we go. I saw an ant on the railroad track. It's by Joshua Prince and it's illustrated by Mackie Pamintuan. I apologize if I didn't pronounce your name correctly. Here we go. Well, I saw an ant on the railroad track. The rail was bright, the ant was black. He was walking along tickety-tack. That's the sound of an ant on a railroad track. Now, this little ant was in search of a snack, an eastbound ant on a westbound track, looking for a crumb or a nut to crack on the shiny bright rail of a railroad track. And who am I? I'm Switchman Jack, just working my shift in the Switchman's shack. I switch the trains from track to track as east goes west and forth goes back. I just settled down with my brown lunch sack, napkin spread, lunch unpacked, when I spied that ant on the railroad track, hungry, hunting, tickety-tack. Now, an eastbound ant will run right smack into a westbound train on a westbound track. If the switchman working the switchman's shack doesn't switch that ant, to a different track. Just then, a sound, I was taken aback. My ears filled not with tickety-tack, but a clear as crystal clickety-clack. That's the sound of a train coming down the track. And you can see he's pretty uh, worried and he's listening intently. And on the horizon, sure as shellac, was a freight train freighting down the track, heading straight for the ant walking tickety tack. Ten tons of iron, coal pitch black. Now what to do? Think quick, think Jack, before that train and ant go. Whack. So I grabbed the switch and dropped my sack, pulled with my arms, pulled with my back. But the train kept coming toward my shack. The deal was raw. The deck was stacked. The ant kept walking tickety-tack straight toward the train on the railroad track. He's trying his best to help the ant. Still closer charged the swift smokestack, a huffing, hurling clouds of black. As I pulled and prayed for the strength I lack, 
to switch the switch on the railroad track. But the switch was stuck. Oh, ruined to rack. Those cold steel wheels would soon attack that wrong way ant on the wrong way track, just out of searching for a snack. Just before the awful smack, that ant turned off the railroad track made a beeline for my brown lunch sack as a train whooshed by, screaming clickety-clack. And I do tell the students, notice how large those words were. That's why I read them louder. Saved, uncrushed, alive, off track, an ant-sized pat upon the back for poise and presence and the knack of sniffing out a switch man's snack. So he's not upset at the ant, he's happy. He's happy that the ant was able to sniff out his lunch to save himself. So we lunched together, ant and Jack. Again, as I've shared with your other stories, this is a great time to talk about characters and, and how uh, this big, big, burly uh, switch man, Jack, uh, cared about a little bitty ant. And uh, that's also something that would be nice to talk about with your children. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you can identify some of those rhymes. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.